Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's such a glare on the screen. I can't even see me. Uh, but I'll tell you, it is a beautiful day here in Maine. I hear the eagles calling and, you know, the uh, wild turkeys have been roaming around. There's all kinds of animal footprints in our ground from the activity last night, which I know there was because we could hear them. We could hear them. We could hear the owls hooting and the coyotes singing. And we have a, um, a raccoon that has taken residence in the uh, cave right next to our house. I think he's like 50 pounds. Raccoons here can grow up to 60 pounds or more. Like in Maine, we grow our raccoons big. And this one is huge. At first, I thought it was like a, a young bear when I saw it. That's how big it is. Um, anyway, so it's been very active here. And since tonight is the uh, lunar eclipse, I can't help but wonder if there's some sort of connection there. So since, you know, I'm feeling very... Um, supernatural at the moment, I found this old video clip that I want to share with you. It's a video clip of the extraordinary Reverend Sally Knuckles. She was channeling, so you'll see it's very dark in there. You don't really see much. Um, she was channeling Eagle Bear, who is this um, spirit that speaks through her. And I had asked, you know, like, what's in store for me? And the message that Sally gave, or Eagle Bear gave through Sally, was about a great deal of movement and transition, which I was like, yeah, I don't, you know, I think Eagle Bear is a little off his mark there. Because at that point, I was very, very settled. My uh, Mind, Body, Spirit Wellness Institute uh, was bustling. Like I had all these amazing practitioners working there from holistic medical doctors, shamans, acupuncturists, life coaches, psychics, intuitives, energy healers, massage therapists. We also had a gluten-free bakery and uh, a vegan food truck. We were hosting 30 to 40 events every month that were packed, and our private sessions were like booked solid. So, and also, like, my family was settled. We had a home we loved, everything was great. I had no intention of doing anything other than growing this like wonderful community that was connected, that we were the hub for. So, Eagle Bear said something about three months. Three months later, I received a profound vision that just like dropped into me with the message, unmistakable message, sell everything, lighten your load. And I didn't know what it means. There are times when you get a message from your guides that you want to talk with them. Like, let me make sure I have it right. Let's like make sure we're like cohesive. This one, unmistakable. I followed absolutely. I did have a lot of stuff, like a lot of extra cooking equipment and more furniture, you know, like things that you kind of accumulate when you're settled for a while. So I just started listing everything I had for sale. And the next thing you knew, I literally sold everything I had, except for a few items I didn't want to release that I put into storage. Within 60 days of getting that message, less than 60 days, my home was sold. My business was sold. I was released from any leases I had through motivations other than mine. Like my landlord at my wellness center came to me and said, I don't know why, but I've just rented your space to someone else. So I really need you to vacate. <laughs> and I said, you can't do that. We have a lease that goes for another 15 months. And he said, I don't know why I did this. This is like so unethical. I don't know what drove me to do this. I'm like, I know why. That was like three days after I got the vision. And I said, so I'll clear out in two months, you know, at the end of next month. And he's like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what came over me. And I said, don't worry. <laughs> I know why. So uh, then I had a number of years where I was just 
traveling, studying with very divine beings, working at nature sanctuaries, teaching on the road. And then my, you know, COVID hit and I had to get settled and I manifested or law of attracted this home. And now I'm settled, but I'm still on the road a great deal. But since the home was given to me, I don't have to worry about monthly bills. You know, I, I get to be footloose and fancy free. So listen to or watch this video. It's, you know, when people channel, you have to give because they're bringing through another being. They're keeping their body empty to bring it through. So there's lots of pauses, lots of breaks, lots of like, you know, letting the energy come through, but no one channels better than Reverend Sally Knuckles. She is a goddess. It's a curious message. I hope you enjoy because it's one that I didn't value in the moment. And then later I realized this was predicting the entire change of my life. Thank you. Bless you, my child. I see the questions that you have. And I say to you to follow the path of enlightening others as well as bringing harmony to your family. Do not make choices from the perception of running from, but from the perception of going to. You are intended to bring the light to others. And again, do this from the highest vibration of your evolution to this point. You too will leave this area, but will come back and go again. The garden I see you planting your seeds is north from this place. And there will be an entity who comes to help you. Allow the help to guide you. And this will happen within the next several full moons. I sense within you a great caring, but care the most for yourself. I tell all here tonight that. And again, the means will come if you do these works from the highest position that you can see. Much is coming to you that will help you help those you love. Do not fear, but welcome these changes and move forward with the true knowing of what you teach. I say this to you again with the true knowing of what you teach. There is a man in the spirit who stands so close to you to guide you. He is of your family and has fought for many people in the righteous way. He is there to guide you. 
and it's of a very high vibration and you know from my sweet blessings on you my child thank you we move on